How do you feel Comoros performed in 2017? 2017 has been the first full year of Coimares after IPO. It has been an intense year where we have strengthened our corporate governance, having Olivier Lamen and Luciano Gabriel joining us in the board of directors. We have further developed the reporting according to the best practice of European REIT and we've been also awarded by EPRA both for the uh, 2016 annual report and the sustainability report. We have continued to uh, invest uh, our portfolio according to the investment strategy. Particularly, we have uh, uh, exceeded 70% uh, of allocation uh, of the company invested in Milan in the office uh, within uh, uh, center, Porto Nova area, and well connected uh, secondary. Uh, location. Uh, we end up uh, the year having um, uh, achieved all our targets in terms of metrics uh, and actually exceeded uh, the consensus of analysts. Will your investment strategy change looking forward? Looking forward uh, for 2018, we expect to continue to execute our investment strategy in a disciplined way. Uh, our pipeline currently includes 700 million euros of assets that we are uh, analyzing uh, closely and uh, 100 million euros of assets uh, under exclusivity. All the pipeline under exclusivity is actually uh, located in Milan uh, within particularly the area of Porta Nuova that the company has already an exposure within the existing portfolio. We are uh, uh, taking uh, uh, an increase of allocation to Core Plus and Light Value Added aiming to enhance the total shareholder return uh, and the benefit of our shareholders. Does sustainability give a competitive advantage to CoinRS? Tenant demand in the office space uh, has evolved uh, significantly in the last decade. Uh, the, one of the criteria that has become top in the agenda of every tenant uh, is actually sustainability. And sustainability is not anymore a brochure, it's not anymore about marketing, but it's about uh, the quality of the space uh, for the company, for the firm, for employees, uh, and for the community. So we are all responsive uh, uh, to produce building and to manage building, uh, uh, which have an impact uh, not just on our life, uh, but of the life of our cities. Within this effort, uh, the recent uh, combination of the think tank uh, together with other European REITs uh, led by Gessina is certainly uh, very important uh, in sharing uh, best practice uh, and having the team of these uh, five different companies uh, contributing uh, to increase the standard at European level. How do you approach leverage? We want to retain a conservative leverage and that is why we set our upper limit LTV at 45%. We believe that keeping LTV below 45% allows us to maintain a moderate financial risk profile for CoinRS. Our cost of debt is currently very attractive, being below 2%, with an overall weighted average maturity of 3.7 years. What is your expectation for rental growth in 2018? In 2017, we achieved like-for-like -like rental growth of 1.4% for our portfolio. For 2018, we expect a like-for-like -like rental growth near 3%, as we already have visibility on step-ups and new leases. What were the main asset management actions taken in 2017, and what are your plans this year? In 2017, we have renegotiated the NH Hotel Lease Agreement on Gioia Otto, achieving an extension of the terms and an improvement of the economic conditions. We have also renegotiated the financing on the Euro Center building and Gioia Otto. We have achieved a significant cost reduction on Deutsche Bank portfolio through the renegotiation of the property tax on some of the branches. As far as 2018, we have already renegotiated the property management agreement for Vodafone Village, achieving a meaningful cost reduction. And we have also extended the lease agreement of PwC on the Monterosa building. In 2018, we will continue focusing on property tax reduction on Deutsche Bank portfolio and we will focus our activity on leasing and improving the uh, profitability of each of the buildings. 
Through the sale of a part of your Deutsche Bank portfolio located in southern Italy, you virtually completed your initial disposal plan. Do you envision selling more Deutsche Bank branches going forward? The block sale of the southern part of the portfolio of Deutsche Bank branches allow us to improve materially the risk profile of the portfolio and also to complete with two years ahead of the plan our disposal program. The remaining part of the Deutsche Bank portfolio is mainly concentrated in Lombardy, which is something that we like. We will consider opportunistically additional sales in the future. Do you believe that the Milan office market remains attractive despite all-time low prime yields and increased competition for assets? Milan will remain a very attractive market in the coming years. It's the gateway of investing in Italy and we believe the three catalysts for growth will be mainly liquidity, rental growth and low vacancy. In addition, Milan experienced a structural gap in terms of grade A stock, which represents an opportunity for COIMRS strategy to invest in core plus and value added leveraging on the strong experience of the team. Where do you see the most rental growth potential in Milan for the coming years? One of the key drivers for the coming years, as said, will be rental growth. Some areas will grow faster, in particular the Porta Nuova area. As per the estimate by Green Street uh, Advisor, um, the Porta Nuova area will grow in the coming three years uh, close to 20%, positioning uh, the Porta Nuova area among the top three performers uh, in, in Europe. Also, the city center is expected to perform well with an expected growth in excess of uh, 10%. How does Coim Arrest benefit from being part of a larger Coim platform? Coim as a platform has been established in 1974. So as of now, more than 40 years of experience within the Italian real estate sector, having developed millions of square meters, have raised capital all, all over the globe and invested consistently across cycles, delivering performance year after year. Coimares can benefit about the whole platform, which today includes 150 professionals, and allow Coimares to have access with depth to the Italian market and be able to execute acquisition, disposition, leasing, and active management. What is your plan to grow Coimares into a sizable REIT? The growth of Coimares um, is a function of how the market will appreciate uh, what the management is delivering. So our main focus uh, is to deliver what we promise, to create a portfolio that is well located, well leased, well managed, and we are confident that by doing our day-to-day -day job, uh, the market will appreciate uh, Coimares and recognize uh, the Coimares uh, can be the gateway for Italy according to the best practice of Europe and to the best standards in reporting and be responsive to our shareholders.